Hey miners, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, the new home of power mining analysis. In today's episode, I'm gonna be taking five minutes and showing you guys how I just set up my new Ledger Nano S Plus on my MacBook, I've finally taken the plunge and converted my Bitcoin over to cold storage. I couldn't be happier with the move and I wanted to encourage each and every one of you to do the same through today's tutorial or how-to video. Now, before we get into it, take a second, smash the like button, you guys. Big help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join and let me know in the comments section below how you currently store your Bitcoin, if you've used a ledger before and what you thought of today's tutorial. Now, with that being said, let's get into today's video. Now, you've probably heard the term, not your keys, not your coins. There's a number of reasons why this is true and a number of reasons why you may want to start to consider self-custodying or cold storage for your Bitcoin. Now, one of the main benefits is you're given your own set of private keys, as we'll talk about in today's video. And this means anyone with access to this private key can access the funds in your account. Therefore, if you don't hold that key, you don't have access to the coins. Now, because of that, self-custody is obviously the best choice for many Bitcoiners or Bitcoin enthusiasts. And unlike exchanges, which are centralized or custodial wallets, putting your Bitcoin into cold storage eliminates counterparty risk and the chance that the exchange you're holding your Bitcoin on may go bankrupt or be subject to criminal activity like we've seen in the past. So once you've made the decision to start self-custodying your Bitcoin, the next step is to figure out what hardware wallet or device to use. The logical step for me was Ledger. I went with the Ledger Nano S Plus. It had all the features that I needed, relatively affordable, and most importantly, a reputable brand that I've had many, many of my friends actually refer me to or speak very highly of. And as you can see here, a 4.4 star on Amazon, $114 Canadian, or about $80 US, which in my opinion is an extremely affordable price to eliminate the risk of my Bitcoin being taken, lost, or stolen by someone else. So thanks to Amazon Prime, my ledger arrived the next day. The first step is you're gonna wanna open up the nice box. It's got a very Apple-esque feeling. The first thing you'll see is this bright orange secret recovery phase sheet, which has three secret recovery sheets inside. The ledger device itself, again, in this case, it's a Ledger Nano S Plus. And finally, under this black piece of plastic, you'll find the ledger start guide and URL, which you can type directly into your computer. And again, I would recommend directly typing that in as opposed to searching it through the App Store or on Google because I have heard of fraudulent accounts that are trying to emulate or represent the actual Ledger homepage. Now from there, you're gonna open up the Get Started Manual. You can see there's four easy steps with the first of which being that URL we just talked about and downloading the Ledger Live app. And as an added benefit, you will receive Ledger stickers in the box, which is also a nice perk. Now, if you go in the app store to take a look for the Ledger Live app, it's very easy to find. However, the first learning I had is you're actually not able to set up the Ledger Nano S Pro from an iPhone directly. You actually have to use a MacBook or Apple computer to do that. So you're still gonna wanna go ahead and download the app to your phone. This is gonna allow you to check your balance later, but you will need a computer for setup. So from there, you're gonna type in ledger.com start, again, directly into your browser. This will take you to their homepage, and here you can download the Ledger Live app to your Mac OS operating system. Now, just like any other download, it's gonna pop up, ask you if you verify the download, drag the Ledger Live app into your applications. So as you can see, this is the most secure cryptocurrency and NFT wallet. Again, highly recommended. You're gonna to wanna to click on the Get Started button. Read the disclaimer here, which lays out some do's and don'ts in terms of what you should do for your own security. And from there, you're gonna to wanna to go in and select which type of Ledger device you've actually purchased. There's a number of different models in the Ledger portfolio, with the setup being relatively the same for each one of these devices. So once you select your device, you're gonna be asked, is this the first time you're using your Nano S Plus or do you already have a recovery phrase? This is important to note that if you actually lose your Ledger device, the physical device itself, as long as you have that recovery phrase, you are able to access your funds down the road. So now that you've downloaded the Ledger Live application to your MacBook, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and plug the device into your computer, which is gonna allow you to turn on your Nano. 
Now this is where another pro tip comes into the video. If you're using a MacBook Air, at least one of the newer generation models, you won't have a USB input. Now to get around that, I've ordered one of these Ugreen adapters, which allows you to plug the USB-C side of the adapter into your MacBook, the USB end of the ledger cable into the adapter, and then of course the USB-C input into the ledger device itself. Now, as soon as you plug that in, you're gonna start to see some text on the screen telling you to use the buttons to navigate. There's two buttons on top of the device and you can essentially press either one of these at a time or both of them together to select an action. Now from there on the Ledger Live app, it's gonna ask you, are you okay with a pin code? As an added layer of security, you're gonna select yes. It's gonna tell you to get started. And from there, you're gonna set up your pin code on the new device using anywhere from four to eight digits. Now the next step and possibly the most important in the entire process is the recovery phrase. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take out one of those three recovery phrase sheets that were in the box, a good quality pen and a nice place where nobody is gonna be watching over your shoulder and then go through on the ledger device itself, write down each one of the 24 words it gives you in order and then enter those back into the device to ensure or confirm that you recorded correctly. Now that really concludes the device setup itself. You are gonna need to go into the ledger through the ledger live dashboard. You can see my ledger listed at the bottom left there and add whichever cryptocurrency tokens you want to store on the ledger itself. And this will act as your central hub for everything you need to do, including sending, receiving, buying, selling cryptocurrency, staking, and as an additional benefit, acting as a heads up display or dashboard, showing you all of your balances in each one of your accounts. So there you have it, you guys, how to set up a Ledger Nano S Plus in five minutes using iOS or Mac. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this tutorial and if you've made the decision to go cold storage. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.